And pardon the delay. Let's check out why Georgia. Um, I know you said you're already playing the, uh, the main riff. Um, it goes like that. So, excuse me. Well, all right, that's exotic. So notice where we're putting uh, the click in. Like I said during the lesson, um, believe it or not, this isn't like a written thing. It's just something we find ourselves do to keep time, like tapping your foot. So question for you. What beat are we doing? What beat is he most, um, you know, doing the click on? So anyway, we've got... And really listen for that uh, audible... So one thing I want to highlight is on the, you know, you need to bail out prematurely during this note and use that as your time to get back to here. Um, and if you're not already playing at full speed, uh, go ahead and include that in your goals, um, expecting to mess it up a considerable amount of the time when you initially speed up. All right, let's check out what he does when he goes to the four chord. Worth mentioning that he uses his thumb for this whole thing, like because he's just a big thumb guy. I don't think uh, many people play it that way at all, particularly the um, fifth string thumb bass note is certainly hard for me, and these are all pretty normal chords. But with getting your pinky up there, if that's seeming difficult, you could try it like he's doing it, which is basically to just like do a D grip, D5, and just play around that. Uh, but that, again, is a pretty atypical approach, if you can say that, of the composer in any context. That's atypical when he wrote it. How about this? Alright, final answer on this is that we're not still just continuing the movement, but he's actually hammering on his for his onto strings three and four. So we're going So that's and like that. And that was This last one will probably just be uh, including this as well. So, so that's a C, C plus six, and C major seven. Like that. Cool, and this really highlights our middle finger style position where we're on strings 5, 4, 3, 2, and, you know, using all four fingers. Um, worth noting that he does a pickup moving into this section where instead of going, he goes, uh, and he hits the open string, so it's like, like that. So, again, that was... And then, which makes it a little easier to get back there. So we've got. And so on. Um, cool. So when it comes to the chorus, uh, we've got this. Etc. Which um, I'm sure you can look the chords up online, uh, etc. But let's see. So we've got E minor, E, you know, this four finger G plush Wonderwall chords grip, E, E7. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the second one is D sus4 with the thumb bass note. So. And then uh, G, C. So those are our first four. So to make our way to D, we go G, A as our switch. So. And, you know, the thing we want to highlight is this is down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. 
and you're just constantly going down, up, down, up. If you want to switch to using a pick for this, I don't think it's really bad. Using a fake pick's not bad, or kind of just swatting at it like I am, and he is probably. Um, and then we get to where he's playing, oh, sorry, it's D, just regular D major, A sus4, so skip, zero, two, two, three, mute. So live in your um, and then it's if you want to continue to hear the Y is a F major excuse me F13 which is kind of a fun chord actually it's a one skip one two three three and it's a movable chord that he uses quite a bit it's a seventh chord basically with that like that um, so let's see one and I'll actually need to listen to it for what he does at the end of that. Let's see. C. Okay, so we go from, so then we do F, yeah, just, yeah, there we go, so just C, uh, C add 9 at the end. Uh, so that was, and then, Okay, man. Enjoy that. I will see you soon. Cheers.